Hey guys, Eric here, and today I'm talking the to Top Guns in Far Cry 5. Before you ask, no, these aren't objectively the best possible guns. Instead of running the numbers, I'm selecting a handful of pretty awesome guns you can use for very specific playstyles. I might be missing a few of your favorites, and if that's the case, go ahead and let me know just how wrong I am. Now before I start talking shop, please like, comment, and subscribe if you find this info at all helpful. The 1911, the old standby. The 1911 is a common pistol carried by most cultists. It's also one of the best sidearms in the game. It's also a really good stealth weapon. Grab a silencer for this pistol as early as you can to clear outposts silently. Unarmored cultists only take a single shot to the noggin. Even with the silencer equipped, it's a strong pistol that can kill enemies in just a shot or two. The Magnopulsor, the weirdest weapon in the history of the franchise. The extraterrestrial Magnopulsor can liquefy foes, launching enemies far in the distance calling some hilarious ragdoll physic. There's no other weapon like it in the game and it's totally optional, and kind of hidden. You only get it for finding Larry and completing his alien influence side missions. To find Larry, visit Falls End in John's region, then travel west to Parker Laboratories. You'll be able to rescue Larry and begin his quests. To my knowledge, this is the only secret gun in the game that isn't just a reskin. It's a fully modeled alien weapon. It is worth getting just for the novelty alone, but that's just about it. The Scorpion. The tiny Scorpion is one of the most inaccurate handheld weapons in the arsenal, making it a perfect choice for spray and pray drive-bys. If you want to unleash hell in the constant stream of cultists that pass you by while you're driving around, the Scorpion is a pretty great choice. The Scorpion only requires two levels of resistance to unlock, so you'll be able to purchase it fairly early. You can also replace the Scorpion with the SMG-11 or A99. Both are great weapons, but you'll need extended mags to make the most out of these weapons. The M79. The only weapon designed for blowing up enemies while you're scooting around on ATV. The M79 is a one-handed grenade launcher that's got plenty of firepower, enough to destroy any annoying vehicles that's trying to follow you. Even better, you can destroy tankers, silos, and other cult stuff that requires explosions without having to leave your vehicle. Now that's convenience. The Recurve Bow. The bow is easily the quietest weapon in the arsenal, and it's great for picking off entire outposts worth of goons. Best of all, you can always recollect your arrows, even if they miss. That means you'll never run dry, and resupplying arrows is very cheap. Unlock the quiver and black market perks so you can buy explosive arrows, and the recurve bow becomes a superior weapon for blowing away cultists in a firefight. You can also replace this with a standard compound bow with attached marksman scope if you haven't reached the right level of resistance to unlock it. Both are pretty great choices for hunting cultists or animals. There it goes again. The M249. The M249 is an unstoppable light machine gun that can trash vehicles and armored cultists fast. Faster than a rocket launcher, it has way, way more ammo. Unlock two perks right away to get the most out of this weapon. Heavy Weapons Master and Vehicle Buster. On top of that, use armor piercing ammo and not even the strongest soldiers or helicopters will give you trouble. A quick burst from the M249 will shred everything in your path. There's almost no reason to equip other guns. This thing's a monster. It's like an automatic bazooka. Those are my top guns. You think I'm missing something? Let me know in the comments below. 
Thanks, guys.